So, Grace Search brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you, yes, you, find the things that you're looking for on digikey.com. Lady what is the Great Search of the Week this week? Okay. So, this week, I'm working on this NeoPixel driver board, the RP2040 Scorpio, which I just chatted about. And NeoPixels are driven with this a square wave that is Manchester coded. The, the width of the pulses is what determines. Um, the data being sent, which means you can use one wire and you don't have a clock in data, you have one wire. And this is you know, very handy because it's very convenient for wiring, it's very easy to do wiring. Um, and this board has eight outputs. So you can see here, here's, uh, oh, let me go to the computer and I'll show the, um, so you have eight outputs here. And each one is driven by this high speed microcontroller, the RP2040, which is running at like 133 megahertz. And the um, bit pattern is 800 kilohertz uh, clock speed, um, but the and it's level shifted as well. So there's a level shifter here. You can see the the 74HCT B 20 74HCT uh, 245BQ, which is the TDFN uh, version, very compact version because it didn't have a lot of space. Um, but the the thing that we've noticed is you know. Um, Having it level shifted up to five volts is really good. You really want a nice, nice five volt signal. But sometimes the strands of wire that reach from the uh, NeoPixel driver to the NeoPixels can be like multiple meters. And we tell people, please don't do that. And they do it anyways. Um, so the problem with that is, you know, you've got the capacitance of the line and you've got this very strongly driven five volt square wave. Um, and if you combine a very strongly driven 5 volt square wave with a very long wire, you get ringing. Um, and that's why normally you would have a terminator at the end. Well, we, we're not going to force people to have termination at the end. They're not going to do it. But the good news is that, you know, the width of the pulses can be, there can be a little bit of variability because um, every NeoPixel re, um, reshapes the waveform. And so instead, what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of resistance in line with each output and you know that combined with the the capacitance it'll smooth out the curve a little bit it'll keep it from from ring the capacitance the inductance it'll keep it from ringing as much you'll get a little bit of a you know it'll be a slower rise time but you know what that's that's fine so um the only problem is is that like i really had very little space left over um because i needed you know all the feather circuitry which was here and then the rp2040 which you know, even you can see I did a 7-7 a seven, seven rule. It's a two-sided board, but I had to get so many traces around. Um, it was it was just difficult to make a lot of room. There's a lot of capacitors that you need, and you need this flash memory, and you need this crystal, and you need this NeoPixel. So in the end, in, you know, the Stemic UT, I really had almost no space. I had like two million years of space. And I was, you know, I was actually trying to figure out how to fit it all in. Um, and even a 402 uh, resistors were like, I couldn't stack them up next to each other. And then I realized like, oh wait, I can get resistor packs in a 402. And then I realized I don't think I've covered resistor packs on the great search. So let's go to the overhead and I'll, I'll show some off. Cause they are very, very handy. Um, I mean, we see them a lot in circuits, but you know, I, I feel like beginners don't always know to use them. Um, so basically, let's see, hold on, let me make sure you focus on the line. Yeah, I know, I gotta, I gotta back it up. Hold on. There is a minimum there distance. Okay. Um, so, you know, I've got, uh, you know, when I revised this board, for example, there are, you know, a couple spots where I have individual resistors. The problem with individual resistors not a problem. I love them and everything, but you do need to have pretty big pads on either side um, because they love to tombstone. Whereas with resistor packs, like for example here, I've got four LEDs in a row. You have four LEDs in a row, and you can make them all use the same you know choke resistor value. One uh, resistor pack is the same size as a single 1206 resistor or you know 0805 resistor basically, but you get four in a row. And another nice thing about them is. Um, they don't tombstone, I found. They're, they, as long as you place them straight on, um, they are, they're, they're wide enough and they're kind of heavy enough that they don't seem to lift as much. So 
you know, the pads are smaller and it's okay. Um, I've not had any issues. So this is a 1K, I think it says, no, sorry, it's 472. So it's a uh, 4.7K, uh, because um, they're very bright, 0603 resistors. 4.7K resistor pack. Um, resistor packs tend to be 5%, not, you know, usually get 1% uh, precision, although I think you can in some values. And then this one is just, it, it basically is just four or four or two resistors, you know, all in a row, but it's even more compact because you don't have to have space between them and it gets placed as one component. Uh, likewise, on the Scorpio board here, um, again, I didn't have a lot of space and, um, you know, I'm not against using O201s, but like, you know, it, it's, uh, O201s are, are tough to place. Um, these are basically, sorry, these are 201 equivalent. These are, this is uh, a weight of four. So this is a 402. Sorry, these are a 402 size resistors. The other ones were a 603 size resistors uh, packed together. These are a 402 packed resistors and, you know, they're very compact, but, you know, they place very nicely. I've had very few issues, even if, um, you know, the, the pitch is actually not that bad. Um, they definitely fit within an eight eight mil rule, and uh, they're inexpensive. And then you know I was able to basically where normally the traces would go through, um, they fit perfectly in between all the different traces, um, and allowed me to you know have a little inline resistor without a lot of effort. So let's go to the computer again, and we'll I'll show it. So then you can see here, um, very compact and the spacing is almost identical to the spacing of this component, which is uh, 0.5 mil. So these are about 0.5 mil as well, which again is a very standard uh, pitch and you know, you're, you're, you're not gonna have to spend more on manufacturing for 0.5 millimeter pitch. 0.4 is where it gets a little bit uh, nasty or below, but 0.5 is fine. So these are well within uh, reason and these are, um, four times a 402, so these are 0408. These are uh, eight mil by four mil. Okay, so let's go to, oops, DigiKey. So let's go to resistor and I'll show you. So um, resistors, there's so many resistors that they actually have multiple different categories. Just watch out because it's like, you're not gonna find them in one, one category. There's a through hole and the surface mount, but resistor arrays are actually a totally separate category. They're not part of the surface mount resistors. Um, I also actually use these for, uh, I'll tell you another thing I use them for is the um, Spokepov boards, which we don't really make anymore, but let me uh, show you the kit. And um, these were great for the Spokepovs. Hold on, this is the, Oh, it's not visible in this image. Hold on. Oh, they are, but they're stacked. Oh, here they are. So these yellow LEDs here, um, these, these, sorry, these yellow uh, resistors over here, those are bust resistors. So they're a resistor arrays, but you get, they're nine pins and you get eight LEDs and they're all, they all have one end connected together they're bust and then the other end is um, left over. So they're really great for LED, you know, choke resistors. Basically, you know, each smoke pop had like 30 LEDs and I didn't want to also, you know, you have to solder in the LEDs, but I really didn't want to include 30 resistors. Um, and I wanted to have some, I wanted to have the even coloring. So you have to have choke resistors. How do you deal, you know, how did I minimize it? You include a resistor pack because it was easier for people to solder. So good for surface mount and through hole uh, usage. But that said, uh, we do want to have a surface mount version. We are not looking for through hole. And then the next step, the value. So, um, you know, basically the, the value is going to be 100 ohms. Um, again, you can get weird values like 1% or 0.1 once in a while, but really resistor packs, they tend to be about like 5% only. Like those are the easiest ones to get, the 5% values. Um, so go with your nice even 2.2K, 10Ks, etc. Um, 
They also have like voltage divider versions. I said bust versions where you you have nine pins, eight resistors, and they all share one uh, common pad. But we want isolated, so they're they're individually separated. Each one is a unique resistor. They're just glued together side by side. Um, they do make them in four and eight. I could have picked eight, but I happen to like the four packs, and I just put down two. Um, so I'm actually going to do in stock and uh, no marketplace. So I just see what's in stock at uh, directly at Adafruit. And you can see, you know, you can get the eight packs. Um, you know, you see this a lot on um, like computer cards or anything that has a bus. You know, you have an eight port bus and you'll have a resistor pack or something, you know, inline or, um, you know, this was another eight resistor pack, 1206. We want a four resistor pack. Because again, fours. Two, I feel like it's too little. Eight's a little bit too much. Four is nice in the middle. And then I want it in that tape and reel. Secondly, I want the package. Now remember, um, there's basically three packages of, of resistor packs. There's the 1206 package, which means it's the size of a 1206 resistor, and it's equivalent to four 0603 resistors back to back. There's the 0804, which is four 0402 resistors back to back. And then I've never used the 0502, but that's clearly the 0201 resistor. Um, that's gonna be really tiny. I mean, you, you need a lot of resistors. You don't have a lot of space, go with that. I wanna go with the um, 0804, because again, it's 0.5 mil spacing. It's within reason. And then, um, you know, I can just sort by, you know, price. Let's see, you get a reel. Reels tend to be about 10,000 pieces. Um, this one has a lot of stock. This looks nice and generic. Let's look at the specs. Again, 5%, you know, so just be, just be aware, like not good for precision resistor needs. Uh, eight pins, you know, it's kind of your standard resistor. Um, and it's in stock. And, you know, in quantity, it's about a cent. I'll say that if you're, you know, one thing to keep in mind, because, you know, I'm trying to use more resistor packs is, there's a temptation that when you look at your raw bill of material cost, it is cheaper to go with individual resistors. Like individual resistors are basically like free, they're a tenth of a cent. So this is actually more expensive than four individual resistors. However, when you go into manufacturing, you're going to be paying per placement usually um, because each placement takes time. And so, you know, chances are you're paying not per joint only, but per component pickup. If you're paying per, paying per component pickup and your pickups are, you know, two, three cents a piece, which is pretty common, um, it's still gonna be cheaper to go resistor pack. So you know, you'd be surprised, even if, I, I don't always use all four resistors. Sometimes I'm only using two or three, it's still, cheaper and faster and easier to use a resistor pack. And so you'll see, I really like them. All our STEMA QT boards have a, you know, 10K resistor pack because, and the MOSFETs dual, a dual pack. I just pick and, pick and place them. Again, they're a little more expensive than the individual, but the size and uh, manufacturability is superior in my opinion. So um, I do recommend resistor packs, even though there's, they're not something I learned about till after I left school because they're, you know, they're, they're kind of like a weird uh, mutant shape of a common part. But this is what I would, you know, ended up picking for the um, inline resistors. And uh, they work lovely. And they picked and, and placed very cleanly. Um, so hopefully this is the last piece of the Scorpio board. I'll get that fabricated. That's a great charge.